Okay, so this is going to be my fifth attempt filming. Finally, there is already silence in the neighborhood. Yes, it's a holiday, that's why. Um, everyone wants to do their yard work. But anyway, so I don't want to start this vlog whining and complaining. So like I said, it is a holiday here in the United States. It is January 21, Monday, Martin Luther King Day. I'm off from work. Uh, so I decided to do a little vlog for you today just because I realized I haven't done this in a while. Instead of the usual vlog, why not uh, do an updated home office slash makeup room slash guest room? Yes, just because that's where everything happens in this tiny space that I have here at home. Also today, I want to share with you small space solutions in case you have a tiny space just like I have, right? And forgive the messy bond. So I guess we will start where I am standing, okay? So this is my view from the outside. I have all the cypress trees and it's, it's nice to do your makeup in the morning when it is bright like this. You don't need fancy lights just because this natural lighting coming through the window gives me a more accurate uh, lighting. Ah, you see my Facebook. I want to also share with you this nice combination that I'm wearing right now. This is the Imani lipstick that I got from Vegan Cuts and this is a lip gloss on top. This is from Well People. But this one I got 50% off of um, Whole Foods last Saturday so I don't know if it's really just a Whole Foods discount because I checked the website of Well People. It's regular price $14 something so I got this uh, about seven dollars great deal anyway so uh, like i was saying this is my view from the home office slash makeup room got all the trees there i know sometimes you catch the birds chirping birds singing just because i'm surrounded by trees okay so as you enter the door this is what will beat you. So if you ask me, uh, this is my favorite part of this room, this vanity that I got probably around five or six years ago from Inspiration Downtown, Honolulu. It stores all my essentials from makeup to skincare to documents to nail polishes to gadgets. This is actually very huge. Let's start from the very top. So this is a smart mirror from High Mirror. Uh, turn that on it's not on i think i have unplugged it but this one is a nice uh it's a very old fake orchid here and then i have a vintage bust of uh, marilyn monroe it was given to me by my husband and this is a giant tv here we just don't have a place for it that's why it is sitting here not being used uh, once in a while maybe i turn it on once a month so these flowers here i got from amazon they're actually christmas flowers i haven't removed them yet but they're clip-ons uh, once uh, the uh, re-diffuser oil is used up then i will store them away so these ones are recycled branches instead of buying those sticks for the re-diffuser i just recycle them i guess you know aside from saving money it gives your <laughs> your vase or in my case my rediffuser a little bit more personality okay so we go back to the storage on top i store my skincare very minimal i use the utensil holder to uh, store my stuff yep and that's that my fragrance lotions scrubs are there some gadgets that I don't use at the moment and finally nail you know, polishes okay so this part here holds my eyeglasses sunglasses some jewelries there and then <clears throat> most of the makeups that I don't use and some that are uh, back up such as this mascara from Tarte so every three or four months, I go through my stash and then, believe it or not, I just uh, gave my mom 
maybe about 200 <laughs> lipsticks she said that she can wear one lipstick a day and that's how i do it my skincare my makeups uh most of them they go to my mom because she's also a beauty junkie like moi the third and the fourth hold my documents and now we go to this couch that i got from wayfair i got it on discount but the shipping here in hawaii cost me over 200 dollars so basically paying it for the full price yeah but this is very actually you know comfortable to lay on and this decor here i got from pierre imports um this is the bag that i am carrying this week it is from alexandra k i've done a review of this pouch from angela roy and this one is a, a pr sample from pixie which i haven't done a review yet and then yes this is a cute reminder from a pillow don't overthink overthinking leads to analysis paralysis okay now we go to this chair the chair i got from home office and this um rug faux fur which i got from tj maxx and there you go a sneak peek of my work desk workstation which also doubles as my makeup room and this is a very nice trifold mirror cheap actually and it's lighted this one is from fancy i did a review of this yeah okay and this is a very realistic makeup tour these are just all the makeups that i used that i use on a daily basis for the most part i only use a cooler which is a bb cream today i'm using this one from tarte um the only foundation that i use as of the moment if i feel like wearing foundation is one from ilia and eyelashes um this one is a new purchase i think uh during the viv rouge say last year yeah from hourglass and this one holds mascara eyeliners some lipsticks and eyeshadow palettes now this one is a disorganized uh, <laughs> part of this room uh, and then over here i have my camera that i use uh, whenever i film so i have two cameras that i use this one the g7x from canon for vlogging and this one is when i film I got a printer here and this is the light that i use when i film i got this from amazon okay and then this is a tripod from manfrotto and here you go i have a mirror here i'm wearing workout clothing just because i'm going to be working out uh, later in the afternoon so that's that this is where i check my outfit of the day i have a little storage chair here the storage there these are all uh you know vegan books and then my name there initial i got that from target flowers i got from here imports and a sneak peek i will be doing an updated shoe and a bag collection sometime in the future so i'm just gonna keep it secret for now <laughs> now we go to my top three tips on how to make your small space look a little bit more inviting and uh, bigger fooling the eyes first is to paint your room white as you can see it's predominantly white here uh, with a splash of gray in between just because white makes a room look bigger than usual okay number two keep your decors to a minimum just because like i said if you have a lot of frames or if you have a lot of uh, figurines if you have a lot of uh, things memorabilia then it kind of clutters the space remember the lesser the better the simpler the better okay and number three is to keep your space very organized i don't want to sound like holier than thou yeah because you've seen my um the stuff under the table but i'm trying to say is that uh try your best not to hoard try your best to organize your stuff so that it's easy for you to search you know things that you're looking for 
and for the most part when you are organized you can work better you can breathe better and everything even the creativity juice it flows better when you are organized so there you go i hope that you enjoyed another video with me today my arm is now aching from holding this tripod but anyway if you're not subscribed yet please do hit the subscribe button a thumbs like and also the bell so that you will be notified of new happenings new videos on this channel but until then i will see you next time and hello always for watching